Joining us now live with some insight is Emmy and Peabody award winning consumer expert Claudia Lombana. How's it going, Claudia? It's going great. I'm over here grooving to your, your jams, your tunes over there. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you're not old enough to remember that song. That's from back in the day. Claudia. I do remember that song. I totally remember that song. Yes, Bible, I do. <laughs> uh, why is this a good time to take a trip or book your holiday travel? A couple of reasons. Um, fall travel is lo not only lovely, but depending on where you're going, you can get some great deals, uh, particularly international travel, some major destinations. I'm talking about Rome, Paris, Barcelona, even Bangkok. Um, in Thailand, you can find great deals during the fall because it's the low season. Um, the busy, busy summer season is coming to an end now and is over, and now we're going into the fall travel season, so deeper discounts. Plus, if you want to book a uh, travel for the holidays, for Thanksgiving or for Christmas, now is your window. Two to three months in advance is optimal so that you can find deeper discounts and better deals. It's only going to get more and more expensive as the holidays get closer, so now's a good time to be looking at both domestic and international travel. Well, uh, my co-host today, Always Joyous Williams, wants to know what are some ways to get really good travel deals? There's a couple ways um, that you can uh, do some research and you know with online uh, travel booking these days it's such a great way and such a good tool to research and comparison shop. So I like to look at one way fares and compare those to round trip fares. Sometimes you can get deeper discounts. Booking package deals is another way um, if you book airfare and hotel together. Using your rewards points from your credit cards for uh, hotel bookings particularly during the holiday season. A lot of hotels are very friendly uh, with rewards points when you're booking. Um, it's a better deal than booking for flights, which is tough during the holiday travel season. And then if you're traveling internationally, being mindful of how you spend. No more um, foreign currency at the bank before you leave for your destination. Just get your money there. If you absolutely have to spend in cash, go to an ATM. You're going to get a better, more competitive exchange rate. Use your Visa card. It's accepted at millions of retailers around the world. Again, you're going to be looking at a better, more competitive exchange rate when you purchase with your visa. You're also covered with a zero liability and oftentimes your credit card provider, this is um, based individual card by card, but make sure you, that you have a card that does not charge you foreign transaction fees. Uh, well, how do we save more money uh, once we get to our destination? One of my coworkers is in Rome right now. How can he save a buck when he's abroad? So some of the things that I just mentioned, um, not taking a foreign currency with you because at your bank they're going to charge you more. If you go to a foreign exchange kiosk at the airport, they're going to charge you more. If you need cash, go to the ATM, get local currency. When you're making your purchases at an international destination uh, with your Visa card or whatever card you might be using, choose local currency. And make sure, again, that you're not being hit with those exchange rates when you return home. So being smart about how you spend abroad is important. Also, um, if you do have cash in foreign currency, 87% of travelers who go to an international destination come home with about $123 worth of foreign currency, and that money goes unspent. So that's wasted money. So making sure that you actually spend. A nice little trick that I um, like to use is if I'm in Rome, for example, where your friend is spending in euros, you can use your leftover euros when you're checking out of your hotel right before you fly home. Apply it to your hotel bill and then put the balance on ah, your card so that good. way you're not taking home that extra money. Good tip. Thank you so much for the time today. Enjoy your travels wherever they take you. You bet.